And our next presenter I met recently at the Granby Street Experience. Did anybody go to that? They shut down Granby. They wanted people to come eat and hang out. And a couple of our friends were there. A bunch of these guys were there. And uh, this guy here, he was playing with Muppets. And uh, he likes to stop. And he likes to do things with music um, and art in a very unique way. And I think it's fantastic. Mr. Michael Perry Williams. Thank you. Nice to be here. I am Michael Carey Williams, and I am the Arts and Education Director Statewide for Young Audiences of Virginia, which is a statewide nonprofit arts and education organization. The etymology of the word art means to make with one's hands. Kind of outdated, I think. But I'm going to ask you and challenge you to explore the arts in many different ways today, in every aspect of your life, starting with education. From pre preschool, all the way through college, we find the arts growing in our lives in every part and every aspect of what we do to empower creativity and inspiration in our lives. These are two images of classrooms. One is outdated. One seems to be more correct, challenging you to do activities in the classroom that engage the students, paying attention to the arts. I look for natural connections through education. Dance equals math. I can dance geometry. I can dance science. I can play history. I can act history. Natural connectors like that. The education of the arts in schools and in the world starts with cultural diversity and understanding our neighbors and our friends around us. Communication skills, building literacy, character enhancement, and perspective of where you come from versus mine. Arts also is available and powerful in healing. I do ask you to explore this. Looking at things like hospital art that is everywhere. My grandfather, who had Alzheimer's disease until the end of his life and only remembered the music from his childhood. Choral singing in nursing homes. Um, they're popping up everywhere because they build memory skills with the lyrics that they remembered when they were younger. They also build emotional connections and help with circulatory and breathing. Healing research is growing and the information is available that helps us understand that brains can be rewired through musical therapy, through art therapy, and through the works that, that enhance those survivors from cancers. What if art isn't just limited to humans? What if we can communicate with others, such as gorillas? It's a little tricky, but elephants and dolphins, why not? They do communicate and they do paint and they do express imagery. Non-communicative art as well. Those who can't talk to you to talk about how they feel can do so through art, through visual art, through music. I can't speak, but I can play it. Arts entertainment is changing our lives as well. So we look at the way we're entertained. It's movies, internet, reality shows. It doesn't mean that it's just destructive to the classical arts, but that there are other ways to enjoy the arts. Speaking of the classical arts, we have to explore what they offer to us as students, as, as teachers, and they really show the discipline of what it takes to learn an instrument or to learn Shakespeare and to understand that and take it into your own life. I would much rather have a, a cultural ambassador who is an artist to explore how they live in their world than a politician tell me what they do. I can understand that better through the arts. And the wow factor of arts is in every aspect of our lives. You just have to look around. It's in the car you drive. It's in the tie you put on this morning. It's in almost every aspect of what we do. The arts are present and visible. It's not about, I like that, or I don't like that. It's really about, why do you like that? I can understand you better if you explain to me why that is not important or why that is not pretty to you. That's all we under, want to understand. Imagine a world of businesses that are led by theater-trained artists teaching how to communicate with customers, how to be service-oriented. I, I inquire and, and ask you to look at the book, A Whole New Mind, written by Daniel Pink, which talks exactly about that, how we use the arts in business and how advisors are building imagination and productivity for the future. Look around you. There's art everywhere. Public art is in our parks. It's in our 
our cities, that's in our city hall buildings, stained glass windows as we walk down the street. It's almost oblivious to most people, and I ask you to pay attention. New art forms have been created every day for the last 150 years or more. Birth of rock and roll, the birth of rap, the birth of new media forms every, every day, Latin hip hop, things yet not even imagined are available. So I ask you, please consider the arts. Sing it, write it, act it, dance it, play it, explore it, believe.